I'm in the middle of this process with the larger ones. You'll find it's easier to work on the layer over here as opposed to in the quick mask. You start out in the quick mask and get as much as you can, then at some point you have to turn it into the layer mask and work there. So that's what I'm doing these big ones with. For instance, um, if I click on uh, something like right there, it does it perfectly. Boom, done. Now I go down to something like this and it's very ambiguous in the tonality so I have to go to the quick mask and clean that up, clean that selection up and fix all that. And that's a little ragged. And uh, that's going to be fun. Let's see here. Let's go all the way up there. Fill it. Apple D. And got to clean that one up. And let's see here. If I hit Q, I find out, yeah, those are good and selected properly. Uh, now we need just need to do this tube with the pen tool. Nice and close. Okay. Go around here and get a nice turn on that thing. And okay. It's almost almost can't see it. Now quick transform. No, 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 no. Let's make selection. Fill it, press Q, and everything looks pretty good. I'm going to use the uh, navigator to kind of move around. Okay. And let's see. Let's, now here's what the trick. <coughs> Pay attention to this. Now I'm ready to remove that, but it's no longer, when I did all that work there, it's no longer on the mask layer. It's on the actual image layer, which means it'll cut out pixels and you can't get them back. So before you even get started, make sure you have a spare layer to go back to. That I, then I can get everything back in order if you do miss them, because I've done that myself. So anyway, each time you do something like that, you got to check over here and click this back to the mask layer. Now I can, because it will still look the same, I can delete that from the mask layer. If I deleted it on the actual layer, it would look the same. The difference now is, see, I can paint that back in if I made a mistake. So that's the whole idea there, with working with these big machines. Okay, here's a nice little spot. Once I'm in the mask layer, just clicking around like that, no problem. But now we have a problem. So now I have to go to the quick mask and put that tubing back in there. And there we go. Fill it. Q. Now if I press X. It takes it out, but it took it out of the actual image. I want to leave the image alone, so I need to jump back over here and Apple X, take it out of there, like that. So that's kind of the process.
now that I'm in the mask mode, if I just take the lasso and let's see if I draw on this, yeah, no problem. It stays in the mask mode. It's when I have to draw in the ruby lith that it has a problem there. Select there's one right here. I can just WF click on that. Apple X, done. So it works along pretty smooth till you get to uh, stuff like this right here. Then you have to start doing some masking with the ruby lift. So, okay, that's all good. It's got that contour real nice. Q. Now, as soon as I do all this, and put this back in there. And I go back to take the ruby lift off. It jumped to the image instead of the mask. But I want the mask on, so every time you have to check that and make sure it's going to do the right thing, if at all possible. And I just go back up here and hit that, hit that. And then there's the same problem again. So once I do this and fix that and get out of the mask mode, it's now back to the image. I gotta switch it back to the mask and so on. So that's how you go. And in this way, now I can save what I have and walk away, close it out, open it back up tomorrow, and it'll all still be there, which you can't do with the ruby lift. Okay, that's it.